Even with all of the research and technology we have today, there are still a few huge mysteries left in this world. Like, what is the meaning of life? Are there aliens out there in space? And who is that ringing my doorbell? Well, we found one innovator who has solved one of those questions. And the answer is in your pocket. Here's Allie Ward. Nothing says tomorrow like a sleek new gadget. But what if one of your functional home favorites from yesterday could be brought into the future? Such as the humble doorbell. These might not be familiar to you, but this is what doorbells look like when updated with a modern spark of innovation, exterior and interior. And they do more than just ring. They see and hear too. Well, they let you see and hear who is on your doorstep with the help of your smartphone. It's a video doorbell that allows you to see and speak to anyone at your front door from anywhere. Yes, even if you're away on vacation. This is Jamie Siminoff, inventor of the Ring Doorbell. And I went to the sunny Santa Monica, California headquarters to meet up with him. So this is our electrical engineering room. Wow, there are a lot of circuits in here. <laughs> Look of, at all these. A lot of doorbells. So what happens here? So here we do testing, prototyping, all the electrical engineering, all the physical components of the actual unit. Inside each ring doorbell is an HD camera, a two-way audio capability, so a speaker and a microphone, and a very advanced motion detection feature. Ooh, it's actually got some heft to it. So that's because it's a dual-powered unit, so it's battery-powered, so there's actually a 5,000 milliamp battery, which is like almost three phones are inside of that. Oh, really? If you have a working regular doorbell, you can actually wire it up and it'll keep it charged, or you just charge it like every six months to a year. We decided to do a ring test here inside the office. And just ring away and it'll give you a little ding dong so you know is the person who's up there and you get an alert on your, oh, look at that. this would be a tablet, but you could also do it on your phone or whatever. And then that's, that's us. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> and so, and you can either, you know, accept or deny it. So it's kind of like a caller ID for your front door. Like so many innovations, the Ring doorbell had very practical beginnings just a couple of years ago. So we were working in this garage and I couldn't hear the doorbell. And so I looked online for a Wi-Fi doorbell that could go to my phone so I could see who was at the front door and realized nothing existed. And so I started kind of tinkering and building my first version of what became now the Ring doorbell. While Jamie designed Ring for convenience, his wife Erin thought Ring could have an added function, security because it allowed her to see who was at the door without opening it. I think it made him feel really good knowing that it gave me a sense of security, that he was maybe creating something that I felt really good about using. Beyond that, an optional recording feature also allows the doorbell to do double duty as a home surveillance system. And with that, the broader company vision was born. So the mission of the company, and this has been since right after we started it, is to actually reduce crime in communities. Most burglaries that happen in a community, the person comes to the front door to see if you're home first. And so by even being able to act as if you're home, you can stop a burglary. We, we think we stop one burglary a day right now in our current customer base of just people answering the door and saying they're home. The doorbell that makes visitors think you're home when you're not is reverberating globally, too. These are all live rings around the world. How many countries are you in? 93 countries. 93 countries. Which makes me think, I bet it's safe to say that the mischievous old school game of Ding Dong Ditch has finally met its match. No more, no more Ding Dong Ditches. 